right, so heading, driving down to Boss Barbell Club. It's about 12 o'clock. I'm driving from Concord, and there's a, probably a good chance I'm not going to get in, but I really want to go. Would like to be part of the energy. I know they're full. Uh, I'm going to stop by, say what's up to a friend, uh, maybe try to uh, get lucky and get in there, hopefully, in the, in the gym. And go to the seminar with Brendan Lilly and uh, Dan Green. That'd be so fucking awesome. But, anyways, I was actually thinking about not going. I was like, you know what? I need to do something different. I need to freaking get out of my comfort zone a little bit. So, I'm going out of my comfort zone to go meet some people. Say hi. I mean, this is the stuff that I like to do. I like fucking uh, lifting. And these are like-minded people. And, I, I'll, you know, this is powerlifting is not as big as CrossFit. And uh, it's, it's kind of cool to, to be around these folks and... You know, whether it be the lifters or just the people that are there that are into lifting. You know, if I mean, if you're watching this video, it means you love lifting weights and you love it. So, you get better by by hanging around people who are better than you. And I haven't been doing a whole. Well, I guess I have been doing that, but not not in powerlifting at least. So, would like to do that. And I'm driving, so I'm driving from Concord. Hopefully, I get there within an hour. Got to drive super fast in my Prius. Just got to Boss Barbell Club, where I haven't actually been here before, so. I really don't know where it is, but I do want to come here, and I want to try to sneak in. So, there's a good chance I'm not going to get in, but fake it till you make it, right? That's the saying. And uh, there's a lot of cars out here, which means they look like they're pretty busy. I'm truly hoping to be able to get in, so if I'm lucky, I'm hopeful. I'll be able to make it in here. So you can see behind me, there's a building that says 241. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I think that might be probably behind that building. I'm gonna walk there. I'm gonna find out how things go. Crowd of people. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty loud. This is gonna be cool. Where's Budget Fishing at? Oh. All right, I'm stoked. They just got in. I'm not allowed to record inside there, so I'm doing a recording here. I got fucking in. I got a name tag. Oh, fucking. So juice. Don't All right, so we're currently on break. Uh, been here for about two hours and learning some really great stuff pretty stoked to share my information with you I can't I really can't wait because it's gonna be really cool to kind of go over just some some of the cool little tidbits I learned about programming about technique I'm just kind of stuff that you know I know that's reinforced and uh, I don't know just a bunch of cool stuff coming up I promise if you haven't already checked out my previous video on my notes, my note recap of my notes I took at the Dan Green Seminar at Boss Barbell in Mountain View. Uh, you can take a, take a look at that. But I kind of want to end this blog, video blog post of kind of my experience. It was kind of cool because, um, God, I can't tell you. No, I was going to go. wasn't expecting to get in. I mean, I was going to basically fake it till I made it. That's what I said. And, you know, I said earlier. But what I was trying to do is just, like, hey, you know what? I don't... I know that there's a chance that there's a lot of people that aren't going to show up because that's just the reality of things. Usually about 30 to 40 percent is not going to show up. Um, if you get 60 percent show rate, that's actually pretty decent, especially for a free seminar. That's typically how it works. And I figured I'd be able to sneak in or they just let me in and they did. And it was kind of cool. I was super excited. I guess my main thing of trying to like not get in was to... Uh, Basically figure out what I'm going to do if I can't get in because I needed to spend, you know, I'll be down in Mountain View, which is like an hour and a half away from home. So I need to figure out, I probably was going to go to the internet and do some video editing and put some stuff on Facebook or on YouTube, I mean. But I wanted to say that, you know, I came in, acted positive. I had them look up my name on the list. It wasn't there, but I got in. And all I can say is that, hey, if you really want something bad and you just go in with a good attitude, I mean, you can accomplish some great stuff. And if you fail, you fail. And I think that's one of the things I, I got to realize for myself is that if you fail, it's not a big deal, especially for something like this. If I don't get in, it's not the end of the world. But I'll say that uh, one thing, I, I, I just got home tired, pretty worn down. But I'll tell you this, uh, I wanted to leave with at least one really cool anecdote or one science piece, I should say, 
Uh, Dan Green talked a lot about the said principle and he kept reemphasizing this specific adaptation to impose demand. And what's that? It basically means you will get good at whatever you train for. If you deadlift a certain way, that's you're going to get good at deadlifting that way. If you bench a certain way, you're going to get better bench pressing that way. And it's important that you leave time in for training for skill and leave time in there for building strength. Because when you're building strength, it's a little different than building for skill. Because you build strength, you essentially make things harder, like doing deficit deadlifts or overloading with block pulls or doing high bar uh, back squats or doing front squats or doing wide grip bench. Those are things that help build strength and accessory, but they and they help transfer over to the main lifts. But they don't necessarily improve skill. They can, but not directly, because the actual skill is the actual lifts that you're going to do in competition. But with that said, I just want to end this video with... Thanks for watching my video blog. If you like more of these videos, I'll post more, but uh, I haven't done a video blog like this in a while and I thought I'd make one. Anyways, thanks for watching and continue. Be ready for some more awesome stuff coming up. I got some great ideas on the notes that I took. It's gonna be really good because I want to, there's two reasons why I'm gonna do it. One, I wanna make some really good videos that will help build my channel that people like to, you know, cause Dan Green's famous for his, his accomplishments. And number two is to help promote his gym. I wanna make some videos that kinda help promote his gym that can kind of be like a little commercial piece for me as a gift because the seminar was free. I got free pizza. I got to work out there. It was great. So anyways, thanks for watching and thanks.